Hello, I am Stuart. Here in the video, we will share the details of the Verizon Fios TV error code 1102, which may show up on your screen with the following message saying, there was a problem with your connection, or something like, we are having trouble activating your video media server. As per our research, the error usually shows up when there is an issue with the internet connectivity, either due to an unstable network connection or a very, very slow one. According to the information shared by users who have been able to fix the issue, as well as from the findings we have gathered so far, we have managed to come up with a few solutions out there which can help you fix the following issue. Before diving into more invasive and complicated solutions, it is a good idea to first have a look at the status of Verizon servers. Simply head to the Verizon Fios status page from your Verizon Fios My Account app and check for any reported outages or server down notifications. Also, it is good to check and verify the status of your account as well. There are times when, due to billing issues, your account may temporarily be deactivated, causing such an error to occur. Hence, it is always a good idea to verify or check the status of your account before heading with the steps we are about to discuss here. Restarting your set-top boxes can also help fix the issue if caused by minor glitches or hardware issues. You can restart your set-top box by following the steps shown here. Unplug your set-top box from the power outlet. Wait for about 30 seconds before plugging it back in. Once the box restarts, check if the error persists. One of the major causes highlighted by many users out there was linked to a faulty cable, typically the coaxial cables connecting the device to your home router. Hence, it is strongly recommended to check for any wear or tear or damage of any kind to your cables to see if that is what is causing the error to occur. Apart from that, you should also check your HDMI cable, splitters as well as the strength of your Wi-Fi device if connected to a Wi-Fi network. If you have no problem with resetting your custom settings made so far and going back to factory settings, then you might as well try resetting your Fios TV box as well to fix any minor issues which may have come up due to some faulty settings made so far. To reset your Fios TV box device, you can follow the shown steps. Press the menu button on your remote. Scroll down to settings and select it. Select system and then reset. Choose Reset TV Box and follow the on-screen instructions. If the issue continues, there might be an issue with your Verizon account. Make sure your billing is up to date and that there are no holds or restrictions on your account. Log into your Verizon account online or via the Verizon app to check for any issues. Ensure that your service plan is active and that there are no past due balances. If there's an issue with your account, resolve it by making any necessary payments or contacting Verizon customer support. If you've tried all of the above steps and you're still seeing the error, it might be time to contact Verizon customer support. They can help troubleshoot further and determine if there's a hardware or network issue that requires attention. You can reach Verizon support through their website, via chat, or by calling their customer service hotline. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips. Have any questions or issues? Drop them in the comments below. See you in the next one.